it's been a minute. <laughs> I feel like it's been a minute. Um, I don't know, I guess because so much happened in such a short amount of time. Um, Y'all, I'm a NICU nurse. I'm shook. I'm blessed. I'm so happy. I'm still kind of in a state of shock. I probably will be until like I actually start the job. Because I'm just, it's surreal. And y'all, I know y'all always have people that will tell you what you cannot do and will be the quickest people to like make you feel like you're not enough or it's not going to happen. But I'm just going to let y'all know, do not listen to those people, okay? Don't do it. Just don't. I'm a, I can go on a whole rant, but I will touch on that subject. So first things first, today my makeup's done. This is y'all. I cut y'all know I cut my hair. This is a wig. Okay, it's a wig. Um, I am trying not to straighten my hair because I'm gonna grow it back out. So I had to wear a wig for my graduation photos. Um, so I know some of y'all follow me on Instagram and Snap, so you probably like saw it and y'all like sent me messages. Thank you guys. <laughs> I was trying to be cute today. Um, it was fun. We shot at like three different locations. Um, and I had my, I had one, um, in like this black, um, romper that was really, really cute. And, you know, with the other little graduation coat, my white coat, etc. And then I had another one in all white Janus scrubs. Um, so I just can't wait for you guys to see the final project. I can't even wait to see the final project. He sent me one photo today and it was unedited too. And it was just super cute. So I'm like, it, <sighs> When he does like what he's magic photography skills does, like it's gonna be great. Um, and so um, I'm only like six week six weeks out because I graduated May 11th. So I don't know. I'm just super close to graduation. Um, so yes, guys, about my job because I know that's what you're here for. Um, and I know a lot of my followers want to be NICU nurses, and there's not that many people um, that are like influencers in nursing and stuff that are NICU nurses so this is exciting um I got a job at a level one hospital in trauma center um and I got a job that has a level four NICU and so I was told our or our residency orientation is six months long I know some are 12 so I was shocked when I heard six by the end of the six months I'm gonna be training and working in a level four NICU level four is the highest acuity possible so I am excited I, I don't think you guys I don't I mean I think I feel like you don't really know much about like how what I like in a from a clinical standpoint I like high acuity. I always have. Like, my friends joke about it. My preceptors know. Like, I am a high acuity person. I'm one of those people, like, I don't want to, like, I don't like to sit still. And when I'm working, like, I want to work hard because I get bored easily. So, if there's nothing for me to do, I get bored. Time goes by slow. But then also, high acuity means less patience. I'm the type of person where I really like to give great care to my patients and like be able to like interact with them, talk with them. With the babies, I won't be able to talk with them, but I'll just be able to give them that care that I feel like they deserve and that they need. Um, and also, great care and nurturing and comfort will make them, um, will help them to grow a lot better. Like they really, really, really need that. You know, they're in that trust and mistrust phase. Trust goes a long way in their development. So, yeah. Oh, I'm just so excited. And so, y'all already said we're on a brain sheet. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that too. And I will put it in our Etsy store once it's done. Um, but I need to, like, tweak it. And also, I kind of want to use it beforehand so I know, like, what needs to be on there, what doesn't need to be on there, what's common, etc. So yeah, um, the interview for it, y'all. In my email, it says 1,500 applicants applied. And then they granted 
around 60 people, a girl <laughs> who's in the interviews with me calculated it because we were all freaking out. She's like, it's on my calculations. <laughs> like, there was like three people each time slot. There's 60 people interviewing for this position. And then she was like, I went back and looked at a, re a, a photo of the last residency program and there was only seven people in the photo, so I think only seven people get it. So I'm thinking there was 1,500 applicants, 60 people got interviews, seven people were selected. I won't know, y'all, until I actually start the job to see how many people were selected. Um, but yeah. So I'm just kind of baffled, <laughs> and that's why I'm just so shook and I feel so blessed, like immensely, immensely blessed. Because out of 1,500 people, then after 60 interviews, like, you remembered me and decided to call me back. And the moment, y'all, it was so surreal because it kind of felt like a movie. Like, you know how um, when there's, like, in movies and they, like, they show the person on the other line and, like, they're talking on the phone with them. And then, like, they're on speaker and there's, like, a boardroom table with, like, all these people sitting around the table when they're making the dramatic call. And then once they do it, then, like, everyone in the background starts cheering. That's what happened. Like, that's what, like, at least I'm envisioning that's how they're, they're in, like, the boardroom table or whatever. But, like, when they called me, I was literally headed home from school clinical. So I was at the elementary elementary middle school that I'm assigned to and I just finished teaching that day so I was tired but it was a good day and it was like 3 30 3 34 something like that headed home and I get a call and I see it's a call that I don't have and it is a Houston number so I'm like oh my god oh my god, oh my god. also y'all my job is in the medical center and y'all know the Houston medical center is like so this one is like super high tech and just even even after my interview um, they gave they like took me on a tour I've never seen like some of those high tech things granted and I've been to a lot of the um, other hospitals I've also been to like the top children's hospital in the medical center I don't even think I saw as high tech equipment there either so I was just like this is what we doing. They getting this kind of care. This is awesome. So, yeah, and it was so cute and colorful. That's the other thing. The other NICUs that I had been to, like, they weren't colorful and, like, it didn't look like it was for children. This one, it's like, ugh. I, I feel like if I say too much, you're already going to know where it is. And if you do, that's fine. <laughs> but it's just gorgeous and cute and just, it makes, it makes you happy being there, even though, like, that situation is for not the happiest. So, at all but yeah anyway I'm sorry I'm getting off track so anyways I was in the car um and so she called me and then um she's like how do you think it went I'm like oh my god I think it went great I just loved it I love the people um etc cetera, etc cetera. they're like great well we're just calling to offer you the position I'm just I, I literally was silent for a minute and then I just started screaming I was like oh my god seriously and then all you guys, so the camera died. I don't even know where I left off because I was just so excited. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't even remember where I left off. But anyways, yeah, they did the call and there was the cheering. And then um, I don't even know. I was driving and I think I even told her, oh my God, I'm driving right now and I'm going to try not to crash. <laughs> I think I literally said that but um yeah it was just it was surreal it was crazy um I'm still I'm just I'm just literally in a state of shock so there's that um I believe I'm gonna be starting in July yes the paper said July so um I think I have to take the NCLEX by June 15th. Granted, I graduate May 11th, so I plan on either taking it. I really got to get started on study, studying, so I'm starting this week. Um, I 
have to take it before June, I said that, June 15th. So I originally, y'all know I love to travel, I was going to take a graduation trip. I genuinely don't think, if I do, it's going to have to be between June 15th and July that I'm going to take a trip. But honestly, we're looking for apartments. We put in for an apartment. We'll see if we get it. If I get it, y'all, it's my dream apartment <laughs> with my dream view in the medical center. <laughs> I'm just too much. I'm just very happy. Um, it's my dream apartment in the medical center. And so if I get it, I wouldn't even have to drive to work. I could literally walk. I think this apartment complex has its own shuttle and it will literally take me there because it's filled with nothing but people. They said half the people work in the medical center, half of the people work in oil and gas. Um, so they were like, we're used to seeing people in the, med in the medical field, so we lit and so since we're there in the medical center, they're like, we have a shuttle that will literally take you to work. I ain't gotta pay the gas, okay? That's how you gotta say. I spend so much money on gas, y'all, it's not even funny, because I'm always driving, whether it's to work or to school, and so I'm kind of in the suburb and driving into the city, and then the traffic, because it's a busy, busy highway, it's just too much, it's just too much. So, that's exciting. And I'll be moving in with my boyfriend. So, yes, we're very, very, very excited. Woo! And it's technically not, no, it's going to be my first apartment that I'm going to be paying for. My, I did have an apartment when I went to a &M, but my mom paid for it. So, I just feel like... I'm finally adulting, guys. It feels great. It feels great. I'm just hoping all goes well because I really, really, really want this apartment. So we'll see. I am definitely going to keep you guys updated. Um, and if you have any more questions about the whole NICU nurse thing or if you want to know, like, more about it, and I'll let you know more as it comes. And I'll keep you guys keep you updated. I'll keep you more updated, like, on life and graduation. But I seriously love you guys. Y'all are a y'all are crazy supportive and crazy loving. Like I just really love the nurse fam because, and I think I even have people that aren't in nursing. But like the love and like the outpour that I got was insane. Like I'm like y'all are literally family. Y'all are more supportive than some people like in my own program or people that I know. Like y'all are phenomenal. And it just, like, it makes me want to tell y'all more and, like, keep y'all updated and stuff because y'all are just amazing. <sighs> y'all make me feel even more happy. Like, I just... <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I'm super extra in this video, but I'm trying to, like, contain myself and my excitement because every time I talk about it, it just kind of, like... So, it's a lot, I know. But I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys soon and talk to you guys soon. Hopefully, it'll be in my new apartment tier. If it doesn't happen, it's fine. God has something better for me. That's another thing, guys. If something doesn't work out, just do it. Like, I mean, just do it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. If something does not work out, it is fine. Because that, whatever that was, was not for you. See, God has something for you that's going to be a million times better. Okay? It's going to be for you meant for you and it's going to be better for you that's the thing you want to remember what you want to now sure it might be great but where he wants to take you or what he wants for you will be better so it's fine just be patient it's hard to not get like feel down about it but just you have to kind of like work with your mindset i've been working on my mindset and it's been doing wonders so it's all about positive thinking a positive mindset and you'll generate positive vibes all right so hope that helped also i think i was going to say earlier in the video do not let anybody tell you what you can and cannot do and what you can and can't get apparently what they think is like millennials um we yes they're you know like we want everything now and you want to be everything to fit us but they also told me you have to pay your dues. If you have to do med surge, you have to do this, you have to do that. First of all, 
at least in my state, we do residency programs. You literally have to tell, they ask you, like you have to write down what specialty that you want. Why would I put med, put med surge if I know that I want this other specialty? Like you're at, they're asking for a reason. And I think that now they're realizing if you go into something that you don't want, you're literally only going to stay there for six months to a year just because you're trying to get your feet wet or get in the door so that you can go to the job that you really want. So they're spending thousands of thousands of dollars on you only for you to leave. Obviously, that's not smart. That's not smart from any standpoint. That's not smart for you, and that's not smart for them. So I think they're figuring that out. So don't listen to the people. I literally had people telling me like just don't apply to one thing um go try other things which I mean I also agree with that too I wasn't just applying just for NICU I was also applying to PICU because in in PICU you still take I love children in general first of all but you also take care of little newborns and babies as well they get from newborns all the way up to like 20 something years old sometimes so I mean I'm still it's still I still get to take care of that specialty subset that I wanted but also I'll learn something else about the other age groups you know so you can still expand your search but don't let them tell you not to just apply for what you want at all like do your best honestly I was I could have been going up against people who had 4.0s or like I don't know if they're gonna be higher but like let's say that they had a 4.0 and they may not have got it because really it's just about your level of commitment, your level of passion, your excitement, the way that you are relaying that to them. Like, people think if you show them that you're desperate, that they're not going to want to give it to you. They want that desperation. Like, who would you not want to hire somebody who's like, oh my God, I want this so bad. I'm just so excited about it. Being able to take care of a patient that cannot take care of themselves and then be like, and then pick up from. The vibes that you give off because they cannot talk so they generally pick up on your aura so being able to be that calmness and that sense of comfort for them is just unimaginable and so to go to a job where I'm giving them the care that they need and knowing that they're gonna grow from this or possibly even be 21 years old later and do you know how they have annual conferences and they come back and they see you and they're just thriving and you never even knew they were being the NICU? Like, it makes your job worth it. Like, it, <laughs> I just keep going because it's kind of how it was in the interview. But, you know, like, would you want to hire me if I'm saying all of this amazing things? Like, I genuinely thought about it. I'm passionate about it. Like, you want somebody that has passion. So go into your interviews and literally just spill your feelings and your thoughts about that field and show them why you really really want it and why you want to be here and if you do that nine times out of ten I feel like you'll get the job like they want passion they want they want compassion they want that diligence and commitment they will ask you other questions that are a little bit more behavioral based and situational based but just make sure that you start you end the video the interview with them you letting them know that you really want this and in the middle you better let them know in any way that you can <laughs> keep throwing it in there how passionate you are about it so that are those are my tidbits I think I said bye and then I went on a whole rant again but I wanted you guys to know that so I will also if you want to do a video on how to interview or interview tips like I got great ones from YouTube and I'll even link them to the ones that I watched that helped me um, get through it so I can do a video on that and have all that info for y'all. So if y'all want that, just let me know. Meanwhile, goodbye guys. And I'll be talking to you later, hopefully with great news. Love y'all. Bye. Oh, and this is Shauna, not Sana. Should have said that in the beginning.